How much do you care about a dripping tap? Hello everyone, we're back for another Netflix movie review. This time we're going to be talking about The Occupant. So I thought the paramedic was quite good. And I thought, what else is Mario Casas in? I came across this film, The Occupant. For the most part, I'm glad that I watched this movie. It's a Spanish movie and it stars Javier Gutierrez as Javier and Mario Casas as Tomas. So Javier is living a rich life. He works in advertising, but he's down in his luck. He's looking for a new job. And unfortunately, during that transition, he loses his home. So the opening of the film, we meet Javier. You see his lavish apartment, beautiful view of the city. I think it's Barcelona. And you think, okay, this guy is really doing quite well for himself. So then we transition to Javier, go into a couple of interviews. In one interview, you see how he's seen as the old guy. They don't really appreciate any of his work. But then the other interview is like, wow, I really enjoyed this. This was a fantastic piece of advertising. And that shows you how to always be valuing what you're doing. On one hand, you go to one place and they don't see the value of your work. And then you go to another firm and they really appreciate you. And I think that's a good mindset to take when you're searching for a job or anything that you're embarking on. Don't just take one person's opinion for something. You can get different reactions on the same piece of work. Unfortunately, he doesn't secure the role for the money that he needs, so he has to move out of his apartment. He has to downsize completely, move to another neighborhood, has to fire his nanny. Javier doesn't take this very well. You can see that it's killing him, that he's having to move to this new neighborhood. He doesn't have his view anymore. In his mind, his life is a shambles. But Javier craves that old lifestyle. He almost becomes obsessive to the point that he starts stalking the new occupant of his apartment, and that is Tomas played by Mario Casas. He's also got a wife and a child. He wants his lifestyle back and he's obsessed with getting it. Now, that's as far as I can go without spoiling the rest of the plot. What I will say though, is where this film goes from that point is just a bit unbelievable. I'm not rich and I never have been rich, so I don't know what it's like to lose that money, that prestige, that lifestyle but the lengths that Javier will go to get to it are just a bit ludicrous there were a few moments where I started to think this is getting a bit silly now however I was still along for the ride and for the most part I wasn't bored similar to the hater and also the paramedic there are a lot of close-up shots of Javier where he's not really saying much he's just staring but you can see and feel his mind at work and similar to those two films i liked it in this film the problem was outside of him losing everything and understanding that he wants to get back to this place we don't really know what sort of person he is prior to this happening we don't really get any development between him and his family we understand that his son is fat and he doesn't like that at all but between him and his wife we don't know how she feels about this move everything's told from his perspective it would have been nice to see more interactions between the two and give me something a little bit more to add to her character there's a few scenes that happen between them that make you think, okay, why did this happen? We don't really have any backstory to understand or care about their relationship. So I would have wanted them to craft more well-rounded characters, give these people a personality, something. Overall, the film was entertaining at times. I found myself laughing at things which I don't think were meant to be funny. However, after the initial setup and foundation, it started to get a bit far-fetched and ridiculous. The decisions that he makes are quite extreme. And although you can kind of see the road he's heading down, you still wonder why this is a bit too much. And unfortunately, you're not given enough development beforehand to try and make some rationale of why this is happening. The film did start to slow down towards the end. However, the acting from the two main leads was strong. And as I said, there were moments that I did enjoy. Overall, I'm going to give it three stars. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and watch some other videos.